Okay, so this morning, before I actually like get on with my entire video, I wanted to share something super exciting with you guys. Um, so I met with Elizabeth Raff a couple of weeks ago. I think it was in the beginning of November. So I met with her in the beginning of November. Um, and she is precious beyond belief. Precious. Just love her. And she had a watch on and I fell in love. I was like, oh my gosh, I love this watch. Um, and it's a Yode watch. Um, if you don't know anything about Yode, Yode is a watch company that creates watches from 100% wood, which is amazing. I am addicted to anything that is like wood and very rustic and natural. I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to try to, she was doing a promotion. I was like, you know what? How fun would this be to be able to give away one of these watches to one of you guys? Um, so I contacted the people at Yode and asked them if they would be willing to do that. So they said yes, which I was very excited about. And they sent me a watch that I wanted to try out and look at their product and see what I thought and share it with you and then be able to say that I'm gonna give this to one of you guys. So here's my watch. Let's see if you can see it. Um, I chose a dark sandalwood with a slate background. And this is the Frankie watch, which is a bigger face. I think the one that Elizabeth had is a much smaller face. Um, and it had a thicker wood piece around it, but it was still really pretty. I tend to go for the bigger, bigger watches just because, I don't know, I just like them. Um, but y'all know how crazy I am about my watch. Like, if I literally walk out of the house without one of my watches, I feel like my days are so off. And I feel like teachers just have to have watches because... I don't know I don't trust the clocks to be honest sometimes the clocks are off sometimes like my old school the clocks never worked it was just a whole hot mess so I had to get used to wearing a watch and I'm in love like look how gorgeous and this is the actual coloring of the wood they did not stain it at all like how gorgeous is that so uh, super excited to be able to um, get one of their products and thank you so much Yod for sending this to me. I, I absolutely love your product. I, I absolutely love it. So thank you so much for sending this watch to me. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about the package when it did come in. Um, it was absolutely gorgeous. It came in a wooden box. And what I loved about it is the top is magnetic, which is really nice. And then it also came with a little pullout drawer, which I thought was fantastic. Um, it was in a nice little burlap pillow and it was just, I mean, it, it's a gorgeous product overall. Gorgeous product. Okay, so let's get on to the giveaway because I'm really excited that Yoda's doing this. And guys, I am, I mean, I'm so beyond excited for y'all. Um, so they are gonna give you a $180 e-gift card, um, which is like a store credit for them. So $180 store credit, free shipping, free sizing, and they're international. Um, so all you have to do is follow the link down below in the description bar. This is their website. And all they want you to do is fill out this information and then submit it. So you get to select the watch, select the model, and then submit entry right there. So you would be taken to this little website right here. Oops, sorry. You'd be taken to this website right here to go and uh, enter in for the giveaway. So $180 store credit, free shipping, free sizing, and they ship internationally. Now, if you're like me, and because I'm just one of those people that I can't wait for things, like I don't like to wait for things, like I have to have things like immediately, they're also offering $25 coupon code. So I will leave that coupon code down below for you guys if you wanna go and check this out. And hey, listen, Christmas is around the corner, y'all. $25 coupon code. It does expire on the 27th, and I forgot to mention that for the, um, 
$180 giveaway that is going to be announced on 12 four so let me see let me make sure that's right yeah so that's gonna be announced on 12 4 they will send out emails um, letting you know whether you did get the watch or you did not get the watch and yes I'm very very excited so 12 4 somebody is going to get a hundred and eighty dollar credit to get one of these gorgeous gorgeous watches I'm loving this copper detail do you see that look how beautiful that is so excited that you are here joining me on YouTube as always I just walked into the building or into my classroom actually um, and my look at that chair <laughs> um, so I don't have anything really ready ready for this morning but I'm not too stressed out about it the lately the days have been kind of uh, um, chilled out I guess is the way I want to say it only because um, we are kind of getting a little re a really good rhythm at the moment, so which is really nice. I got a banana so I can eat for breakfast. Um, so exciting news! There's Christmas music on the stations now. I'm so excited. I went and I got into my car and I turned it on and I'm like, yay, Christmas music! So exciting. I went home last night and I have had I feel like a cold. There was a time remember when I didn't like post anything for a really really long time. Um, and I had this really bad cold and I feel like it's starting to kind of come back almost because I go home and I get so tired and I get very like I start coughing a lot and I'm coughing in the morning a lot during the daytime though it's not as bad as what um, I have it at, in the evening so I didn't get too too much done okay so I started working on my rubric and then I also did my zero inbox I am so happy that I finally got back to my zero inbox because I was very much so not at a zero inbox and it's been driving me crazy so one account is which is my um, school email account which is the one that I really needed to make sure that it was at a zero but then I need to go through and do my other personal accounts which that's just gonna have to probably wait until the weekend because I had too much happening and needed to get that stuff accomplished so um, very very excited about my zero inbox like I said it's from the I really want to get that on audiobook because those I mean that book is just like it gets me motivated like every time I like read it or hear people talking about it I'm like yeah gets me like wanting to get things done um, so getting things done by David Allen phenomenal phenomenal read definitely check it out put it on audiobook do something because it absolutely is a life changer I feel like there's like a red spot right here do you see that it is red why am I red right there? That's odd. I don't know. I don't know why I'm red right there. Weird. Okay. Um. <clears throat> that's kind of stressing me out. <laughs> Today what we're doing is kind of continuing on with our leveling it up. I'm going to be meeting with a couple of groups. Mainly for, if you're like looking at the little leveling it up. Mainly for um, exposition. Which the important part is about the exposition that I want to meet with them is gathering some of that really important information that you need before you can actually move on to story. Um, I have other groups that are going to be going on to character traits so we're going to talk a lot about um, their thoughts and what they're saying and what are, what are they interpreting that as like they're inferring about the characters based upon the actions that they're doing based upon the things that they are saying um, so we're gonna work on that and at the same time I have to work with a few on problem and solution so we're going to make sure that they can identify the problem and the solution in the text and then we can start marking some of those things off so that is my goal today to get done and uh, yes so I went home and didn't get much of my grading done that I needed to get done and oh my word I am so behind on grading y'all I don't know how some people do it I have got to get better about my grading this is my very first year doing it. Oh, and I did want to talk to you too about, I've had a lot of people request for me to do a day in the life. I can't do a day in the life yet. I am planning on trying to do a day in the life, but here's the thing. I've only been a fourth grade teacher since like August, like late August, like September. Um, so I need a, I don't want to give you guys something that I don't feel secure about and that I don't feel good about. I only want to give you things that I would 100% stand behind at all times. So 
I am planning on trying to work in a day in the life, but it is not gonna happen anytime before the new year. So, sorry guys, I really wish I could do it. I just wanna make sure that I have everything down that I want to get down before um, I show it to you guys. So, that is why. Um, I need to do my morning message this morning and uh, get some coffee and go mingle with other teachers and um, I guess I'll see you guys during my break time and uh, I hope you have a phenomenal day. You guys are all amazing. Um, the passion and the love that you guys have for teaching is phenomenal so smile just know that um, know that I think you are all wonderful and have a great day. I will talk to you guys later on. Bye. Hey guys. So it is my lunch break and I've been working on a couple of different things and I kind of want to talk you through some of the things that I'm doing. Um, so if you don't know, my district uses a site for us to be able to use it as like an online classroom and this is where kids are able to um, like upload assignments and they're able to do discussions and be able to access different documents that we're using inside of the classroom. It's really, really amazing. So, we wanted to find a really great way to do our word study. I know a lot of you have questions about word study and like how I'm actually doing word study and I am gonna do a video all about my word study and then sharing with you guys some teaching tips and some activities that you can do inside of the classroom that are very easy, not very time consuming, and um, the kids really enjoy it. So I'm gonna tell you that I actually use this website to be able to put my documents for Schoology. And what I do is I create a video and I actually did this with a team of teachers. So we all kind of split up the um, workload as far as the videos that we would record so we recorded the video of the actual mini lesson and again I'll show you this mini lesson when I do this video we record the video with the mini lesson and the kids had to take notes so the video is actually in our page so what I've been doing right now because I've been a little bit behind and I have not been recording them just because I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm making excuses. Stop making excuses for myself. So here we go. So I have been using QuickTime, um, which is an application that I think QuickTime Player is an application that I think a lot of the Macs have. I'm not sure if, if PCs have them. I'm so sorry. I wish I could tell you if PCs had them or not. Um, but QuickTime Player, I just did an audio recording and I'm recording the tests for my kids now I know you don't have this whole web page this database where kids are able to do it um, if you do have something like that fantastic you can put them in there and have your kids be able to do it because I have kids who are all on different word studies it's again with that whole idea of you don't want to keep giving your kids something to do when I mean they're moving on they're done they're past that why are you making them hold why are you holding them back when you don't need to be holding them back and you need to just push them forward um, so if you have that fantastic put that up there so that your kids can actually listen to the test themselves they can put it on a piece of paper turn it in and then they're done I was trying I went back and forth for the longest like I did them like having them come to my table for a while and that was taking up too much time and then I had them um, trying to do it in the app but the page was make, allowing them to make corrections to it like you know how when you start typing in a word and auto correction comes up and then we try to tell them okay be honest and go and take off the auto correction but I know some kids were taking off auto correction because they didn't want to sit there and have to try to figure out how to spell the word okay Anyways, so to get past all of that, I figured, you know what, I'm just gonna have them listen to an audio recording. So I'm uploading the audio recording. Now here's the thing, if you don't have this, but you still wanna implement it, a really great and easy way to do it is QR codes. You can still record it um, through QuickTime. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so I don't know if you see it right there. There's the QuickTime player. So you would click on that bad boy um, right now I have all of these that are kind of still up of my recordings that I've done but then up at the very top where it says quick time player you'd have to go to oops sorry you'd have to go to file and then new audio recording and then this little bad boy would come up um, I'm literally using just one of the Apple cords and this is how I'm recording it so you would record it save it and then upload it so then you can save it to uh, 
whatever website you can save it to in order to um, gain access to it. I think like a uh, photo bucket or things like that, you can save those those two and then be able to have kids access it through a QR code. So then they can just go to either a booklet or something like it could be posted in the room. Um, it could be anywhere for them to be able to scan it, to listen to the audio and do the, the spelling test themselves. So another really easy way to create individualization for your kids as far as their learning goes because you don't want to keep all of the kids on the exact same word study some kids get it way quicker than others you know some still need that extra time to be able to practice those words and you don't want to hold kids hold kids back because of because of other students so a really quick and easy way for you to be able to individualize it um, I only have about another three minutes so I'm gonna run and go to the bathroom before I pick up my kids um, I'm taking my kids to swimming after this break. Um, I will talk to you guys next break about what it is that we're talking about in class because we are going to try something new and different um, and it brings in a little love of my own. So um, it'll be exciting. So I am gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna eat a cookie that I got from Subway and yeah. I told you guys that I wanted to tell you about something else that I'm working on so I am going to start a kid blog for my class and um, if you haven't visited kid blog definitely go and check it out it's just a way to get your class into blogging um, the purpose of the blogging is to enhance or to get them to want to write more and to also better their writing in the long run so it's just a means of just being able to get your kids writing um, so today what I did to try to introduce Kid Blog to them is I read the story I Want an Iguana. I'll show it to you. If you have been following me for a while, I used this one in kindergarten. It was fantastic. It's so, so cute. I Want an Iguana. Um, it's a little boy, about a little boy who wants an iguana. So he's at, he writes letters to his mom asking for one um, to try and tell her that he, you know, he can get an iguana. So stinking cute. A lot of teachers have used this for um, teaching letters or persuasive writing, which I think I did persuasive writing with this one because it was it was really, really good. Um, but I took this story and I used it for a different lesson. Sometimes vlogging right, right in front of my... <laughs> door back there like makes me nervous <laughs> anyways um so i used mine just a little bit different and after i read the story i said okay i want you to think about what is happening in this story what is that little boy doing well, he's writing letters okay why is he writing letters to talk with his mom so that's kind of where we took it from there we talked about ways we can communicate and then reasons why we communicate so before we got to this part we just focused on this and we said well what are some ways that we can communicate well one was the letters words so face to face sign language text code phone call email social media FaceTime and apps so those are all ways that we are able to communicate with people here are the reasons why we communicate so sharing our thinking we're learning from each other to being friendly and I told them that it's basic human needs to want to be friendly with each other um, to understand things to persuade teach people to teach people things and to express ourselves whether it be creatively or intellectually we want to express ourselves so then I told them I said well I have a ways for us to be able to communicate with others and it's going to be through kid blog and so right now all we've done is um, pretty much define what is a blog so a blog is a website that allows you to communicate with others and express your thinking or creativity now what will happen tomorrow is we're going to take it a little bit further and then I'm going to actually write a post on the actual kid blog that we will be using and I am going to tell them we're going to talk about ways that we can respond because I told them that people from all over the world can read this and be able to communicate with you which is a really really cool thing um, we're going to have our sixth grade book buddies and our third and our fourth grade book buddies like they're going to be able to communicate within each other about what it is that they're reading or they're thinking or they're learning just all kinds of really nice stuff um, and then what I'll do so tomorrow is we're going to talk about how we communicate with people how do we respond to different articles or things that we see out there so what are some really great responses what are some things that are negative and how should we be responding to people so that is what we're gonna do I'm gonna give them some examples that we'll probably go through and sort and then from there I'm gonna have them go and respond to a post that I have on kid blog so that's gonna be my lesson tomorrow for kid blog and then I'm gonna take it just another step further after that and I'm having 
kind of gotten there yet. So that's what I'm doing today. I have about two minutes to go pick up my kids. So I'm going to go run to the bathroom and take my kids to swimming. And I guess I'll talk to you guys later on once I get back to school. Good morning. Oh, as soon as I say that, like I dropped something and I had to pick it up. So good morning, everyone. I hope you are having a fantastic week. So I'm getting together. I had to make a ton of copies because I have my students working on their leveling it up maps, which let me see if I can show you them. These bad boys, this leveling it up map. Um, so they have certain things that they have to complete in order to be able to get a star and move on to the next task that they're supposed to be doing. So I created a, almost like a packet, not really like a packet, but it's things that will help them to be able to model some of the things that they're doing. Um, so I'm going to be teaching it with Beauty and the Beast because we're doing traditional literature with fairy tales. So I'm doing Beauty and the Beast within small group. And then they're expected to show that they are able to apply whatever it is that I am teaching them within small group in their independent time to earn stars for this. So I printed out Rumble Still Skin and they have some different activities that they'll do um, along with plot and then summary and then we're going into kind of characters and looking at the characters and being able to I identify some of their traits so that's kind of what I'm doing today and I'm also doing a kid blog lesson my partner's out this morning and so she's gonna have a sub for a little bit she's meeting and uh, um, I'm doing my morning meeting I am taking pictures of my morning meeting lessons this week because I'm going to post it up on my blog of an explanation of how I implement morning meeting because I know I change it up just a little bit I don't really do it like full-fledged because of our time situation so um, I'm gonna share how I'm doing morning meeting this weekend once I post it up on the blog I think the video that I will have come out because I typically don't upload things on Fridays or Saturdays just because I want that to be like my family time with my kids and my husband so I will whatever I upload on Sunday I will talk about um, and see if I have that done so I can tell you guys about it and send you a link to my blog. So yes, I gotta go. Come on. Christmas music! My Christmas tree. My lights. Yay! Oh, and I get to wear jeans today. We have literally three more days of swimming left. I am so excited, which I mean, we also, I mean today, Monday and then Tuesday left of swimming, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, I am not a fan of the chlorine. I'm just gonna be honest. Like I don't like the smell of the chlorine. It drives me crazy. And I, apparently I can't handle it cause I get a headache every stinking time that I go. So then we have Monday and Tuesday off, or no, I have school Monday and Tuesday. And then on Wednesday I have conferences in the morning I don't think I have them in the afternoon I only have them in the morning and then that's it so I am so sick and excited y'all I need this like and I'm very random sorry um totally made this like garlic chicken and roasted potatoes and then I did some like rice last night oh so good I'm gonna leave a link down below so you guys can go and check out that recipe because it was so stinking good definitely go and check out that recipe if you're a little cook so it is the end of the day um I've done a little bit of cleaning here and there and uh, my room looks really good I'm actually very I'm very excited I'm very impressed with how clean I have my room because typically it's not this clean um, <clears throat> so we have Monday and Tuesday next week that we are here I will be here again Wednesday because we have conferences on Wednesday it's more of like a teacher work day but half of the day is with conferences so and then Tuesday is going to be a really late day because I have conferences in the evening. Um, I've pretty much gotten all of my stuff ready for next week. Um, I'm doing more on characters next week. And then here is like all of my stuff lined up, ready to go, nice and neat. I'm very excited except for that stapler. But it looks really good. I'm excited about that. All of this is pretty much cleared off, which I'm very excited about that still needs to get a few things need to get filed away um, but for the most part this is like conferences and then I'm retesting one kiddo on that but um, all this stuff is for conferences next week and that's ready to go so uh, right now what I've done is I went and uh, like hoarded the copy machine and my partner teacher got out of me 
<laughs> she didn't get mad at me but she was all like why are you taking up the carpier and I'm like well I'm so sorry I have to hoard it because I have to make word study packets oh my gosh these word study packets are killing me so um actually they're not like I, I do a whole bunch of them and then I don't have to do any for like a few weeks which is really nice so I am making a bunch of word study packets so that I can fill up the word st study folder and yeah everything's really pretty much done oh I need to show you guys this so a teacher at my school um, she watches some of my videos say hey and she's so so sweet um, and she came in and she gave me a gift one day and it really touched my heart and I was um, blown away by just her kindness and I mean it's amazing people are just really really nice <laughs> and um, it's nice to have people that you work with that you get along with really well you know so um, let me show it to you so it is a picture she said you know I know you're doing fairy tales so she gave me this picture and it's beautiful like it's absolutely beautiful so let me show it to you look at it I love this like it looks amazing amazing so I have that there right now um, but yes, I love it. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, very, very touched by your by your kindness and your how much you're giving. So thank you, thank you so much. Um, so yeah, I am now really, really hot and getting some things done. And I know I didn't I didn't did not finish talking to you guys about rubrics and I did not finish talking I wanted to also talk to you guys a little bit about conferences not parent conferences but more of student conferences because even if you're in some of the smaller grades um, if you haven't started conferences this is a great time to go ahead and start them so I wanted to give you guys some pointers for creating rubrics and also for doing some conferences in your classrooms um, and what I mean by creating rubrics is because I know that a lot of us are you know we have to have assessments we have to have something that proves that students are learning what it is that they need to be learning I'm gonna put you down we have to have assessments we have to have some stuff we have to have um, assessments that show that students are learning and a lot of the times I feel like so many teachers are very driven towards well I'm just gonna give them a test I'm gonna give them you know something to read and then they have to answer the questions to it yada yada that's all good and well but I don't feel like doing that is going to be the best solution I feel like giving kids something that's authentic that they can apply to themselves like independently is the best way to show if not if they're grasping the concept or not um, and if you have to do tests I completely understand like when testing starts getting closer I will teach testing but I will teach it as a genre I will teach test taking skills and not constantly give them this test so with rubrics you can create it to say okay if you're working on summarizing well create a rubric just for summarizing you know making sure that they're hitting certain points that they need to be hitting um, I've started creating a rubric for my reading readers response so having a rubric to be able to say okay here are the things that you were you needed that I needed to see in your writing and here are the things that you're not showing me so it's a really great way and I and I like rubrics so I'm considering coming out with some type of generic rubrics um, that people can use so for summarizing for plot for um, character traits for readers response journals um, for um, informational text features that type of thing so really think about it look into it a little bit more um, and hopefully this weekend if I get a chance to work on it a little bit more I can show you guys what it is that I'm talking about so um, my afternoon class pretty much got to work in their book club groups which was really awesome um, the talking and the, the the interacting that they were having was absolutely phenomenal so I was very impressed and blown away with them by that I am probably gonna get ready to go um, I'm hope hopefully I will talk to you guys um, when I get home over the weekend <laughs> so that I can kind of share with you some things that I've been working on because I just haven't had the chance to work on them this week it was an, ins an extremely insane week like when I say insane week like 
things were going wrong left and right <laughs> and um, so there was just a lot of fires that I was putting out look at that hair there was just a lot of fires that I was putting out this week and it took up a lot of my time so we didn't get to some of the things that I wanted to get to this week, but that's okay. We're going to continue it. It'll be fine. <laughs> not a big deal. I'm not going to stress out about it. So I will hopefully talk to you guys over the weekend um, to catch you up on some things that I want to share with you. So um, I hope you have a, a really great, what is it? I'm going to post this on Sunday. So I hope you guys have had a great weekend so far. So yes, I will talk to you later. Bye. Okay guys, so I really wanted to, to um, stop and everything that I was doing because I got a little bit too excited like a kid in a candy store, but I got this package in just now and I just got home and I was so beyond excited. So I just kind of stopped opening it because I was like, wait a minute, maybe I should just do this on camera for you guys so you guys can see exactly what it looks like, but it's gorgeous. Um, so I am working with a company called Yod Watches, um, spelled J-O-R-D, but it's pronounced Yod. And they sent me a watch to be able to review it and share it with all of you so that you, um, um, just to kind of see their products and I was very excited because you all know how much I love me some watches like I love watches they are very much a part of my life and I feel like every time I am without a watch like I I'm I'm missing like half of myself so just took it out of this box which is what I kind of got it sent in um and it's gorgeous it is a wooden beautiful box um has yod engraved here and that's the company's name and then it has the j for yod and it looks like almost like a tree right here which is so so beautiful um what's even more cool is down here at the bottom it has like a little pull out drawer that you can insert all kinds of nice things i'm feeling like this could be a really cute jewelry box like to insert jewelry or just any keepsakes mementos it's really really pretty so all right let's open up this bad boy so that you can see what is inside oh my goodness look at it so it comes with a very nice little pillow um oh my gosh just feeling it already it is absolutely gorgeous <gasps> i love 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 it oh my word look at that it has that rose gold that copper yeah it's more copper so it's that copper on the inside it's so beautiful i love this little pillow oh look at that how cute yod i love it very nice little keepsake and it's kind of it's got it, it's magnetic too, which is so nice. Oh my gosh, I love this box. Very nice. Um, it is a lot lighter than what you would expect, which is so so pretty. I am freaking loving it. So so excited. And then it has their logo here for the J for Yod, and it's a very nice little wood piece. It's very cute. Wow, this watch is gorgeous. It is so light, which is so nice because, you know, a lot of the times you don't want to wear something that's super duper heavy um, because then it just weighs you down and you just feel, I hate the feeling of it doing that. So, oh my goodness, I'm loving it. Okay, so now I have to take this off. Oh, I am so excited. I love watches. This was one that my mom gave me. So many of you have commented about it. Um, this one's a Burberry watch that my mother gave me. Not that long ago, and I loved this. I love that watch. So, so excited. Y'all, I love me some watches. And they fit it for me, which was even more awesome. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I am in love. In love. Okay, I'm going to play with my watch, and then I'm going to talk to you guys later. 